তাদের ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্স তো আপনারা দেখছেন যারা বলেছে তাদের ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্স তাদের এই জন্য তো নিরপ এই তদন্তকারী সংস্থাগুলো নিরপেক্ষতা নিয়ে প্রশ্ন হয় আমি যেটা বলছিলাম যে যাদের বিরুদ্ধে প্রমাণ রয়েছে তাদেরকে অ্যারেস্ট করা দূরের কথা যাদের আজকে শ্রীগড়ে থাকা উচিত তারা বহাল তো বিয়েতে সিআরপিএফ নিয়ে ঘুরে বেড়াচ্ছে মানে চুরিও করছে আর ট্যাক্সপেয়ারের টাকায় নিরাপত্তা নিয়ে ঘুরে বেড়াচ্ছে কেউ জেড ক্যাটাগরি সিআরপিএফ কেউ জেড প্লাস ক্যাটাগরি সিআরপিএফ সেন্ট্রাল পুলিশ তাদের গার্ড করছে চলে যায় এবং বিজেপি নেতার আগে থেকে বলে দিচ্ছে কার বাড়িতে রেড হবে কাকে ডাকা হবে এবং মানুষ দেখছে মানুষ জবাব দিয়েছে মানুষ জবাব দেবে মানুষ তো জবাব দিয়েছে দু হাজার একুশে আপনি দেখুন না বিরোধী দল নেতা বলছে সব আপনাদের ফোনের কল আমার কাছে আছে তার পরের দিন পেগাসাস বেরোচ্ছে আপনি কি দেখবেন সবকিছু মানুষের সামনে সবকিছু জনসমক্ষে লোকানো তো কিছু নেই উনি বলছেন ইডি একে ডাকবে নাম ধরে ধরে বলছে এবার পাঁচজনকে সিবিআই ডাকবে পরের দিন পাঁচজনকে সিবিআই ডাকছে কিন্তু দেখুন গণতন্ত্রে মানুষকে বোকা বাড়ানো এত সোজা না আই হ্যাভ কাম কোঅপারেটেড ইন দা ইনভেস্টিগেশন কোয়েশ্চেন অল দেয়ার কোয়ারিজ অ্যান্ড আনসার দেয়ার কোয়েশ্চেন আই কেম হিয়ার in the month of september as well when the summon was served to me by the ed officers for the very first time i was interrogated and questioned for 9 long hours this is the second time they have served me a summon and i have again turned up without making any excuses without exploring my legal rights in the higher courts obviously i have made a i have filed an slp today that will be heard in the preceding weeks in the next in the next few weeks i'm sure but the way this investigating agencies have been functioning under bjp's dictatorship it can't be many it is clear and it can't be any more brazen the day after winning the up elections in other three states i get a summon on the 14th of march since they are failing to take on trinamool congress electorally and democratically they are using these agencies they are using cbi they are using ed they are using income tax to scare the opposition and the political personalities belonging to the opposition but we are not built like that we will not bow down as i said if i have to bow down i will not bow down once i will not bow down twice i will bow down 100 times but i will bow down before the power of people because i believe the power of people is stronger than the people in power i will bow down before the power of people i will not bow down before the people in power if they think that this is the way they will put their investigative agencies and all their might to scare me to put me on the back foot to make sure that i i stay away from the political fray and doesn't question them on their wrong doings they living in fools paradise I will be dub- doubly determined and resolute in my fight against these autocratic forces. And since they are failing to take on us electorally and democratically, they are using these investigative agencies. So let me reiterate and remind these people who think that they are going to use, their, use the government machinery as their own machinery. to serve their own vested political interest we are not going to be cowed down and we will not budge an inch from our fight i will be doubly determined and resolute to take on them if they think they can fight us fight us politically who is stopping you but you think that using ed using cbi who are their biggest allies A lot of people say that bjp is fighting this battle alone who says that bjp is fighting this battle alone bjp has the two, two biggest allies in the country one is ed and one is the cbi and so i will if there is anything against me i am again telling that you don't have to chase me by this investigating agencies i'll take the gallows and if there is anything which you can prove and substantiate that which which you know eventually proves my engagement or involvement in this scam what is this scam you call it coal scam now what is coal scam you call it cattle scam what is cattle scam the cattle is cattle like an insect it's a big animal if the cattle is going from india to bangladesh what is bsf doing who is at the hem of hem of affairs of bsf the home minister who is at the hem hem of affairs of the kolyaris which are guarded by institutional force like cisf the home minister 
So do you think it is appropriate to call it a coal scam or a cattle scam? It should be called the Home Minister scam. Because the Home Minister is at the hem of affairs, who is guarding Koliaris, who is in charge of CISF guarding the Koliaris, who is in charge of BISF protecting the borders, if they are not able to do it, and you put the onus on the state government and the members of the opposition that they are hemi they are cahoots with this uh, consters and crooks and people who have carried these crimes out. How is this possible to even you know implement without their blessings and guidance?